The killer enters the shop. Mrs. Asher turns around to greet her customer. The murderer asks her for some tobacco. She turns her back to him. He seizes the opportunity to strike her. He then places the ABC upside down before leaving. Everything appears to match the crime scene, mon cher Hastings. That is exactly what happened. Asher has a strong alibi and we don't have any other suspect. But what was the point of this crime? She had no debts. She gave Franz Asher money regularly. She wasn't owed money. Nobody stood to gain anything. No doubt about it. The murderer is insane. Hmm. And I fear that we had not heard the last of him. I hope you're wrong for once. Bien. Let's go back to London. If we hurry, we should catch the two past seven train. Are you coming? No, unfortunately, I have to talk with Andover police. See you soon, then. Are you coming, Hastings? Let's go home. There's nothing for us here. Well, do you have any idea about the killer's identity? Hmm. The crime was committed by a man of medium height, with red hair and suspicious eyes. He has a slight limp on the right foot and a wart just below his shoulder blade. Poirot! Mon ami, what do you want? You fix upon me a look of dog-like devotion and demand of me a pronouncement a la Sherlock Holmes. Now for the truth. I do not know what the murderer looks like, nor where he lives, nor how to set hands upon him. What shall we do, then? Nothing. Nothing? Do not be so impatient, Hastings. The killer will manifest himself soon enough. I thought I heard the postman. Maybe there's some news. I would go and see. Daily Flicker, June the 22nd, 1935. Battle of a control of bank system. What will the government do for money? Endover. Murder of a tobacconist. It is not the right time. No doubt about it. Hastings is going bored. You're not going to get the post? Yes, yes, of course. Dear Mr. Poirot, Well, what do you think? I believe that I won this round. The end of our affair went like clockwork, don't you feel? But the fun has only just started. I would like to draw your attention to Bexil on Sea on the 25th of this month. We're having a crazy time. Best wishes, A, B, C. The next crime will be in Bexil. We must warn Jap to Scotland Yard. Did the letter indicate anything that might help the police? To be honest, I think we can already guess something about the next victim. But I need to think about it a little more. 
It's impossible to get through to Scotland Yard. Ah, some cool air. Let us examine this more closely. Certain characters in the two letters may have similar defects. Let us examine the characters in this world. Let us examine the characters in this world. Yes, the A appears to be quite unusual. Right, let us compare this with the other letter. No, this character does not appear to have any defects. Let us examine another word. That's right, the A characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. Yes, this I is weird. Right, let us compare this with the other letter. Yes, the I characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defect. I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. The W is not printed properly. I don't see anything in particular. Let us look at another. Of course, the W characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. My theory was right. These two letters were written with the same typewriter. Both letters were written on the same typewriter and show the same characteristics. You surprise me, Poirot. You usually ignore material proof. But there is nothing usual about this case, Hastings. Nothing must be overlooked. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. So, Poirot, have you found something? Oui, I believe so. But I am afraid it is not enough to stop the murderer. Let us go and see Chief Inspector Chap. I will explain there. 